hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you are a whole subscriber please thank you for tuning in if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and give my video a thumbs up in this video i'm going to show you how to attach your flare to your blouse in a very detailed pattern you know my video is all about beginners so tolerant and um, i always like to take my time to explain to my viewers how to go about this so here is a blouse you can see how it looks like this is where i'm going to attach the zipper yeah so see that's the back of the blouse so i've not attached the zipper yet so i left it open because i want to attach my flare to it so let's go to the flare this is my flare which i'm going to attach to the blouse i've already pinned it up at the top so yeah i'm going to measure at one inch on my flare one inch but before i measure that i need to trim off excess of this i have some excess material you can see that is the satin so i need to trim it off when i finish trimming it i'll come back and show you so as you can see all the edges are all equal so the next thing i'm going to do here i'm going to take one inch which is my sewing allowance remember i had uh, you know in your flare you need to have two inches one one inch to add the flare to the blouse then another inch to 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 sew to hem under this as well I've already done this anyway so my this video is all about attaching flare to your blouse so you take one inch this is one inch here so I'm going to mark one inch round the tip that will help me to know where I'm going to pass through uh, when I'm attaching the flare to the blouse so I'll take one inch here like so one inch here as well so i'll just mark it all through i'll just be moving the flare like this then i'll be marking like a circle mark, mark up one inch like this now mark again oh my tape is always falling down okay sorry guys and i'll mark again one inch this one, this, why I'm doing this is because I will be able to know where I'm going to put my needle when I'm sewing it. So, you see, one inch. So, you just mark one inch all through. So, when I finish marking it, I'll come back and show you what I did. Oh, so I finished marking my one inch on the, on the flare. Remember, when you're marking your one inch on the blouse, don't mark at the front. I know I did it at the front, but don't do this. You will always mark at the back. Because that's where you're going to start attaching it from. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring out my blouse. To, for you to see how I'm going to attach it together. So this is the blouse which I'm going to attach the flare to. So what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to take it out. I've not attached my zipper yet. So I will start measuring it at one inch which is the same allowance for this blouse. I'll just measure out one inch. So I'm gonna do that from one inch through this way. So when I finish doing it, I'll come back and show you what I did. So I finished marking out the, my flare allowance where I'm going to attach my flare. So the next thing I'm going to do here is to so I arrange my flare on the blouse. So the first thing you do, not to get yourself confused, this is the blouse, the front of the blouse. 
the bad is the back and this is the back i've not had the zip so you just take a put your tape measurement measurement like this this is 20. 20 divided by 2 is 10 so you look for 10. so 10 is here that's the midpoint so now you carry your flare you look for the midpoint of your flare you just simply do it like this Make sure both sides is equal. See both sides is equal. Then here is your midpoint. So you take your flare like this. You attach your midpoint of your flare to the midpoint of the blouse. And remember, this is a sewing allowance, so you want to attach the flare. So it's here like this. Then you take your pin, the sewing allowance here, you attach it like so, the sewing allowance here as well. So you take it like this, make sure, yeah, so you pin. That's what we're going to do. So, but in this case, mine is two flare, which I'm going to have together. So now that I find my midpoint here, my midpoint. So I'll take the other flare. This is the second flare. I also find my midpoint here. This is my midpoint. I already find my midpoint, just like the way I did the first flare. So I turn it like this as well. See? Then I'll match it up with this as well. Then, this is this my sewing allowance here. It, it corresponds with the sewing allowance at the back. So I'll take it like this with my sewing allowance in my blouse. Take it like this. And I'll take my pen. I'll start attaching it together. Then I'll go to the other side. This thing, you have to take your time to do it. If you're if you new, if you're a beginner, Take the other side as well. Then I'll attach it. I just keep on attaching it all through. So let me finish pinning it up around the blouse. And when I finish, I'll come back and show you what I did. So if you don't want to do the first method I showed you, what you what I'll go to do in the second method. First of all, I'll sew in this flare. So I will go out, I'll take it to my sewing machine and I'll attach the first flare. Then I'll come back again and attach the second flare, which I'm going to show you. So I finished spinning the top. The next thing I'm going to stitch there, there, there. So when I finish stitching it, I'll come back and show you what I did. So I've attached the first flare. This is the attachment. This is the flare. So I'm going to attach the second layer of the flare. So I simply do it like this. Then the first flare, I'll find the midpoint, which is the midpoint here. I'll find the midpoint of my blouse, which I already marked out. That's midpoint. So I'll take it like this. Then I will stitch. No, sorry, not stitch. I will pin it up. Sorry. Then the next thing I will do here is you see the marking I've already marked out. Then I'll place it on top of the sewing of the first flare. So they will be equal. So I will now take my pin and pin it out like so so i'll just do it like that straight down to the end when i finish pin i'll come and show you, show you how i did it this is a new this is a beginner method for attaching your flare that there are other methods you can also use to attach your flare which i'll be showing in my future videos but this one is for a beginner then you get used to it so 
let me go and finish pinning though. When I finish pinning it up, I'll come back and show you what I did. I've already attached the flare to the blouse. If you can have a look, you see. This is the, the other layer and this is the front layer. I can see it properly. So the next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to stitch, stitch it up from here. You see, from here, I'm going to stitch straight till I get to the zip allowance at the back. So when I take it to my, to my machine, when I stitch it up, then I'll come back and show you what I did. So friends, as you can see, I finished attaching it. If you notice one thing, at the edge, it's a bit rough. So if you have an overlocking machine, can use to overlock the edges. You just trim it down, overlock the edges. But I don't have an overlocking machine at the moment. Uh, but there's still another way which you can use to conceal your edges. That I'm going to show you in my next video when I make another lace uh, material. But for now, this is the beginner one. You can use this first method. Then if you don't like this first method, you can use the other method which I'm going to show you in my other video, future video. So, this is the flare. You can see how beautiful it is. I finished attaching the flare. I don't know if you can see it properly. So, uh, that's it for now. If you like this video, please don't forget to thumbs up, share my video, and give my video a big thumbs up. So, I was I will see you in my next video where I'm going to continue sewing this pattern. So, I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe, share my video, and give my video a thumbs up. So, for now, one love and peace. Bye for now.